subscribe. Hi everybody and welcome. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Today is a requested tutorial on jingle bells for violin. Now this is a really, really, really easy violin version. The easiest that I could um, possibly make it for you. So if you're expecting something a little bit more advanced, then check out my jingle bells advanced tutorial um, that I've done off the back of this. So this is for very, very easy violins. So if you've not picked up the violin for 20 years um, or so, you, you can use this, you might want to have a go at this, this would be a good thing to get you in to play something Christmassy for all the family on Christmas Day or whatever. Um, or perhaps you've only just started playing the violin a month ago or, or last week, then this is going to be the video for you. Um, so this is as easy as, as I can make it for you. Um, what I've done is I've got the, I say sheet music, I haven't written it out in note form, hence it wouldn't be easy if, if, if I did it like that, but I've written the words for it and then above it I've written the finger numbers that you're going to be playing associated with each word and then the string that you're going to be putting each each finger on so sometimes you've got um, two fingers worth for each word um, depending on on how the song goes but um, I'll go through that in just a moment for you what I've decided to do um, with Jingle Bells is I've given you the verse and I've given you the chorus as well, so everybody knows the chorus, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all, but some of you may not know the verse or be so familiar with the verse, but I've put that, I've done the verse anyway, if you want to, to do more verses then obviously you just repeat it, but um, to save me having to write everything out again. So what I would suggest, the first thing you do before you even grab your violin and start getting on playing with playing this, then um, print out this this sheet that I've I've done here for you. I'll put the link to it underneath the video. It's completely free. All you need is a printer and some ink to print it out with. But if you can grab your piece of music, then as I'm going through the video and and teaching this to you, then you can be looking at this and and we can learn together. So I would suggest that you grab your copy of the sheet music now and your violin and let's get playing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is play the whole of Jingle Bells for you with the verse and the chorus, and then I'm gonna go through one or two little things for you, and then I'm going to play it again close up so that you can see my fingers moving. Okay, so here is Jingle Bells, really easy violin. So there we go, Jing really easy uh, jingle bells on the violin with the first, with the verse and the chorus. So assuming that um, you know this song as well, because this is gonna help you as well, and assuming that you've got this sheet music that I've got and that I've done for you all sitting there in front of you, it's the video's not gonna really make much sense, much sense unless you've actually got, um, got the sheet music sitting in front of you so that you'll know what I'm talking about when I'm referring to letters and things like that. So um, you've, you've been given the words. I thought that would be easy to have the words rather than having the sheet music, otherwise it would completely defeat the object of doing this. Um, uh, just before I go any further with that, actually, with the key that this is in, this might not be the original key or it might not be the key that you've heard it in or you're, you've heard it playing in or, or whatever it is. It doesn't really matter. The reason why I've put it in this key is so that it is, it is the easiest that it can possibly be for the violin if it was to be honest if i put it in another key i tried it in other keys and then it meant that it was just it was going to be too complicated to explain and there'd be too much and and those of you who really just want to play something and and something that's really really easy it would then be too hard for you and you know you'd, you'd give up and everything so i've done it specifically for this reason so that it, so that it is easier for you there might be a lot of open strings in there, but again, it's just for ease of use and everything. So, starting off, um, if you look at the word dashing, you've got an O and then a one. So above the, the O or the zero, which is an open string, um, you've got to play that on the A string. So you'll know that the, the O's or the zeros refer to the open 
strings there. Your finger ones are going to be going on on the line. You might have some lines on your violin or you might know where they already go, but they go in the regular place. Um, threes go in the regular pace, place, but the second fingers might swap between being stretched, i.e. next to the third finger, or being back and being next to the second finger. So looking at dashing, you've got an O and then an A string. So an open A string. The second part of dashing is a one on the E string. So one on the E string. And then through is an open E. And then a the is finger three on the A string. Snow is an open A string. So if you can see where I've got dashing, I've started with an open open A string and then the one moves to the E. But if you can see that I've put a line across between the E and the next A, that's just to show you that the, the notes over that line or underneath that line are all going to be on the E string rather than every single letter to have a string number or to have a string letter above it. I thought the whole thing would just get really confusing. So, so if you can see on the sheet that that we're starting with an A, and then the E that you've got here, I've just done a line, so it means all the notes, all the letters underneath, or the numbers, sorry, the finger numbers underneath that are all still with the same E string. So you don't need to change string until you get to the next letter that you see there. So hopefully I've explained that and that all makes sense, but use that combined with the knowledge that you know of this song and it will start to make sense. It won't make sense if you're going, it's, it doesn't make sense to do that, so stay with the open E, then moving from 3A, snow is O, still on the A, and then in A1 are three open A's, horse is one on E, open is an O on E, an open E, and then a three on the A. Slay is one on the A because the A carries on with that line. And then over or over is two ones on A. And then an E is a two. Sorry, the is two on E. Feels is one on E. We is an open E. And so on and so on. So hopefully that all makes sense to you. There's, you've got all the information you need there. You've got the words to help you follow the, the rhythm of the song so that, so that you, you can keep up and you know where you are. So the, the song, the structure of the song actually makes sense to you. And then whatever number is above each word, sometimes there are two because sometimes we have dashing. So we have two, um, two notes just for one word. You, they're your finger numbers and to know which string you're actually putting those finger numbers on will be above that and if um, for example you've got um, a whole ver or a whole row or three or four words um, on the same string then I'll just put I've just indicated that with with a line so that you know that string is is carrying on all the letters underneath that are still on that same string and it doesn't change until you get to the next letter so hopefully that makes sense um, to you all. The other thing I need to mention as well is that the second fingers are either going to be back or stretched. Every time you have a second finger I've written in red whether it's going to be back or stretched. So stretched we know is going to be right next door to the third finger and back we know is going to be right next door to the second fingers. So for example looking at one two the third line down in the Jingle Bells verse over the field over the fields we go You've got, um, first of all, you've got a, a second finger for the, which is back on the E string. And then for go, you've got a stretched second finger for the A string. So you've got, um, so one minute it's back, the next minute it's stretched. But it's fine because you've got two other notes in between that. So it's not, it's not, a, it's not a big deal. It's not a big effort to be moving your finger. Just make sure that it's back and then it's stretched when it needs to be. So I think that's pretty much um, everything explained for that. I can't think of anything more that I, the, the, anything more that I need to explain. Um, the only other thing you know you need to know is just know the names of the open strings and then pretty much you're good to go. So what I'm gonna do now is um, try and do you a close up of me playing. I will apologize now if it doesn't sound quite as good um, as it did a few minutes ago. It's just because I'm having to literally 
angle the violin down like like this so that you can see me play so it means that um, it's just a little bit more awkward for me but it's just purely so that you can see my fingers moving about on the strings and follow that along with the music um, it's it's easy with the video because you can stop and start me as well and 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 have a look to see where I'm going to and from so I'm going to do that now for you and then I'm going to come back so here is Jingle Bells for you close up Okay, so hopefully you can see that fine um, close up. Again, I'm sorry if it just sounds a little bit odd that I was literally having to play, uh, <laughs> I don't know, a, a like 90 degree angle or something to the floor so that you can see, you can actually see my fingers um, because it's, uh, it's just a nightmare to re-angle the camera again. But anyway, hopefully you get the idea with all the fingers and everything. I was actually playing that and I noticed when I got to the chorus for Jingle Bells, um, when I was doing Jingle All The Way, so you've got, um, So jingle all you've got a jingle is one and three on the E string and then you've got a three on the A string so what you need to do is just roll that third finger across so you're using a third finger on the E and you're using a third finger on the A string as well at the same time so just just roll it across that's all you need to do there. So as long as you're ready for it, you can be prepared and roll it across. Whatever you do, don't lift your finger up and put it down again because you'll get, you'll get an open E string in the middle. So, so just, just roll that finger, nothing complicated, just roll it. So hopefully that all makes sense to you um, and, and you understand that. Any comments in the box underneath, do leave them. I'll try and, I'll try and respond to them if I can't. Um, maybe one of you guys out there can, can, help, um, can help someone out. Um, thanks very much for watching. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And don't forget to check out my advanced Jingle Bells version as well that um, I just made up on the spot. So if you want to check that out, here's a link coming to that now. Please subscribe and um, Merry Christmas. I'll catch you all next time. Subscribe.